guys, welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. This is another edition of Pouring Coast to Coast. I'm so glad to be here. We are going to be doing something for Pride uh, Month. This is an 11 by 14 canvas. It is uh, artist loft, deep edge, taped, pinned, blah, blah, blah. I, and guys, my studio is done. The only thing that's not done is the lighting. So I apologize in advance if uh, there's some shadows. So, speaking of shadows, <laughs> I'm doing a shadow pearl pour as the background for this piece. So, I've got, and I didn't have Artist Loft, so I used Meaden, and it's quite a bit thicker. And I would not use this particular um, recipe for pearl pours. I would, this is good for this type of pour because it will take the the color art pigments and just make them luscious. Okay, so here I'm just putting the magic down and trying to get some of it back in there. There we go, it's working out pretty well. So I'm just getting the bulk of the pearl mix off guys probably can't even see there we go okay and I'm just going to rub along the sides here and make sure my sides are all covered and we're going to be using color art pigments I want to make sure I've got everything there I think I need to go that way need to make sure you've got an even amount over your your substrate so yeah color art this one is chrysocolla and this one is frog prints and I love both of these colors they're, they're gonna make a nice skyline for this so I've got this stirred up I've got this on the wrong way I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. A little bit more over here. And then the sky. And I'm just gonna tilt it back and forth for right now. So pretty though. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with my happy place now. My God, it took a long time, you know? Yeah, see how the, the pearls are starting? I could try and let them go, but I don't think so. I didn't like the effect. I did some test tiles and I ended up pouring over them anyways. Let me take a look. Let me just give it a minute. No, I don't want it that dark. Okay, <laughs> that was a minute. So what I'm gonna do is pour over this. And this one we can't dump back in because we have color in it. Oh, there's a schmooch. So the background is, it's so pretty with this. And there's a lot of paint on there, so I have to really work to get it off. Work, ha <laughs> ha It's not work at all, it's play, it's play. There's another one. Yeah, the maiden has been sitting around for a very long time, so there are a couple of boogers. Boogers. Oh, see how this is, coming through. This is beautiful. That uh, That's the, the look I want. So we're going to let this dry. And once it dries, we're going to put down a beautiful 
painting with some rainbow colors. Oh my gosh, I'm really loving this. Let's see another booger. Okay, let me give this a torch. Oh, hello. All right, we'll be back. Okay guys, so it is all dry now. It's a beautiful background. I'm glad I've got this background. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna do some sketching on it first and then add some um, texture paste in colors, in TLP colors, all of these guys. So I will put some music on and you guys enjoy.
So this is the wet result, which is not gonna be too much different from the dry result. But um, yeah, I just used my own DIY texture paste, added um, some paints that I made out of TLPs. And these are the ones I use. That's Psych. Oh, jeez, I can never remember the names of these. Oh, Techno. It's all disco stuff. Ma Mosh. Hustle. Rad. I know Rad. And Deja Vu. I also use Groovy. So this is my Pride Month piece. Um, love is love, guys. We need to live in peace and harmony. Anyhow, thank you so much, you guys, for inviting me again. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys at home had a great time watching. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all.